ready. Fingers crossed. I can already tell there's no way that that's... Just based on the combo, there's no way that that's cursed. Maybe this one? Okay, only one has beaten it. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the Reform DM gameplay, to be honest. But we could do it just because it's been so long since I actually did it. Um, I mean, it took him an hour 30 to win. Could certainly be a tough one. Let's try it. I don't think it's that good of a combo. Uh, okay. Very tough bosses. Very tough. A lot of defense, not much help on the offense front. I think we go this first. Would probably just do the stalwart for Reformium. I don't think uh, Superfood is going to be great in this combo. Obviously would have preferred a aggressive though. Since we're definitely leaking, let's do this. I know I have um, tombs, but that just doesn't do anything. Uh, it gives me more defense, essentially. I don't know. Umbra artifacts aren't that good. I could probably justify skipping here, especially since there's already one there. Yeah. This is fine, we get the Vapor Funnel. I don't even have to deal with them. <coughs> I don't really have to deal with anything. Just need to get ready for the boss, and I guess kill this thing. Um, well, we should go Damn it. Sure, set up here then. These planks are fucking trash. Hmm. I'm gonna try to beat bottom floor. I'm trying to think. This guy's got 29, so he'll, he would hit us. It's not gonna happen. I could probably kill this though. Yeah, so we'll just go. And yeah, it's still not doing it, but there's nothing I can do about it. All right, two damage. Okay, we got a remnant here. Um, prob here's a problem with something like Reform Dam. Can't really add cards. Every time I add a card, it makes this less likely. We already saw how hard it. I only reformed it twice the whole fight. So. I think a targeted backline could be pretty good, though. I don't know. It's not that necessary with Vapor Funnel. Could just take a making of a morsel if I need that for scaling. Like, it's not that out of the question that I brick on the Remnant Banners, because they're basically as... They're basically as bad as Umbra's, if I'm being honest. Like, they're mildly better. As a whole. Uh, in terms of, like, Hitting or missing. Now, when I hit on Paraffin, it's certainly better than hitting on Alloy. That I won't deny. And the rares are better. But at the Uncommons here, Remnant's not much better than Umbra if I'm not going to get a Paraffin Enforcer. You know, Wickless Baron really isn't that good. 
And all the other ones suck. <clears throat> and honestly, with Reformedium, it's possible that Alloy is better than Paraffin Enforcer. Especially if I don't end up with a Burnett Extension. I don't know, probably Mind Collapse, so it's double Scourge. So even the Vapor Funnel isn't really countering these super hard fights, so let's take that. I think we should take this, just in case it needs to be a thing. Paraffin Enforcer, I'm looking at you. I could do Endless on the Tomb. Of course I get punished for not taking an explosive fucking tomb. Well, I can definitely work with this. We still have one more chance to find an explosive tomb, or maybe a giraffe. Those are what we're looking for here. I don't know, is this even that good when no legion is what I have? I could just re-roll for like multi-strike or something. Eh, I think I'll still do this. Um. Hmm. I might want the refracting lenses. One, two, three, and then also this. It's just... Yeah. Between that and Vapor Funnel, I think I'm going to have pretty high health. So we'll know pretty quick whether or not Legion's going to be good for us or not. For this fight, I just don't see that being good for us. is so bad. I don't know how people think this is good. It's fucking horrible. It is so fucking bad. God damn. Look at this. We're not even getting through the front fucking unit here. Big old yikes is all that is. Now we're gonna take shitloads of damage. Even with the uh, vapor funnel and refracting lenses, I'm losing health. Hmm. I'm probably better off with this, right? We should win. I should have probably not played that. I just added an extra dead drone to the deck. Alright, still lost health, even though I have three consumables. That tells you something. Tells you something. Granted, I didn't get to play one of them, I think. Of course. So Legion is probably just going to get removed from the deck. Um, do I need another Purifying Cleanse? So we have a unit draft. Could be a Paraffin Enforcer. This could be a Paraffin Enforcer. That could be a Paraffin Enforcer. That's a decent enough chance that I find Paraffin Enforcer. I think we take this. Mm-hmm. Easiest choice of my life. Yeah, we'll just get rid of this Legion trash. So, I think we go right, look for multi. Um, I think that our Hellvents are dubious at best. 
we're probably just not going to use fucking Primordium eventually in this one. This, uh... Mess. I, I could also just self-infuse the Paraffin Enforcer, though. That might actually be better. Um... That's essentially like giving it multi-strike in the context of you know, Elven at now and self-infuse. Sure, it does suck if between these I find another paraffin, but that's just life. Uh, the Helvents are all just, sh uh, other than the final one, shittily positioned. Look at this one, I'm giving him a vortex, a camera. And a Merchant of Magic. Uh, here I give up the steel, which, if you look, there's not really any steels on this map. Uh, in fact, none of them are really desirable. This would be the closest one, but still I have to give up a Vortex and a Magic. And money. So, I don't know. This one's hittable, though. The thing is, I could go to the right here, not find multi, and then there's nothing really that I want with a Paraffin Enforcer. I'm already going to be stacking stealth. Um, the eventual plan here is just one Tomb, two Paraffin Enforcers. That's two big hits. Defense is taken care of. I could still do Reform Diem into other stuff to soften up the other waves. I don't know, though, on Divinity, that's not going to work. Tough call. Tough call. We would not want any Umbra Banners. Between this and this, it's still like a decent chance that I find Paraffin Enforcer. It's like a 1 out of 3 here and like a 1 out of 6, roughly. Which is still below 50-50, but not like that far below it. So, if I go to the right, I'm hedging my bet on losing two 50-50s would be worse than this. However, if I go left... If I, let's say I win one of these 50-50s. Let's say I win either Multi-Strike or either uh, just finding a Paraffin. If I find a Paraffin, we're even, I would say. Maybe, maybe not even because in that scenario, there's still a little bit better. Like the Umbra I'm just never taking unless it's... Uh, I mean, shit, I don't even think I would take a Morsel Maid in this deck. I only have Planks. Uh, but that being said, I think in the case that I... That in the case that I just... F I miss Multi, but I find Paraffin at one of these. And I go this route. I think that is better than Hellventing here, because... I would have got Pyre Health instead of 10 Gold. Maybe we can argue that I don't need Pyre Health, though, because I have these two artifacts. Now, let's say I find the Multi, but don't find Paraffin Enforcer here. So that's the other 50-50 I could win while losing the other 50-50. Then that would be better, I think, than a Self-Infuse. It doesn't cost me any shards. And I could still self-infuse, like, later, and then still hellvent it. Um, it also allows me to search for a Burnout 1 on the Tomb, which would be good. Uh, I think I'm leaning toward the right, then. If I lose, even if I lose both 50-50s, maybe I can still find a Burnout, and maybe put some health... I've talked myself into going to the right. Alright, we got that at least. Uh, here's the shitty thing. Okay, here's the thing. It's something I didn't factor in. I'm an idiot. I have no fucking gold. That sucks. 
Even if I re-roll, I probably can't afford a multi. If it's times five... I don't have a good times five. Uh, and these don't change anything in that regard. Now let's check this first. I know generally you want to make your stuff, but I want to see if I'm getting gold. Why did I have a feeling it'd be this useless event? Well, it's not entirely useless. Here's what we could do. We could put Paraffin Enforcer into the rail spikes. It will be a miserable run. It will. But, given the current state of my deck, I think it makes sense. Will be miserable. Yeah, we'll do it. I think these artifacts are gonna allow me to do it when I bottom deck them. Because here's the thing, I can just go put that there. Uh, we're still gonna put this here. Now I'm gonna re-roll just for some minor upgrade, whatever it may be. Damage shield is probably fine. I might prefer damage. Since I do have stealth. It was a multi. I wouldn't have been able to afford it, though. Shitty. <clears throat> Alright, that's fine. We'll just start making these things now. I could intrinsic spell chain this. I don't... I think it's really all that necessary. We don't want to make life harder on ourselves, I think. Alright. Alright, who do we want to die first? I just do these to get my health. I could do that there. I need to get rid of this. This deck, it makes zero sense. I don't think we play anything. Be one short of dying there. I think I still put it up there, though. No, oh, he burns out anyway. That's fine. Uh, if I could feed it one, this is fine. Never mind. Looks like we're going to be bottom ducking the uh, spike driver, of course. Why wouldn't we? No, shit ain't looking fucking good here. Shit ain't looking fucking good. It's looking fucking pretty bad, in fact. Don't really see how I can use this unit yet. I just don't. Um, it's a shit show. All right, so nice of you to finally show up. All right, where will you die? You're just not gonna die anywhere. I think we just put it on the bottom then. Um. Think here. I think we want to make sure that we're eventually going to have to do a bunch of shit top. Hmm. That looks decent. I can't find a reform. Why would I? Why would I? Why in the fuck would I? 
Well, there's a chance we just don't find any of these three reform cards, and then it's a death. Do I save enough by doing this? If I put it in, I can do this. He'll hit once, I get a 13. I think, I think we should do this. Yeah, that's some damage at least. Getting toward the point. Okay, look, luckily we draw some here. Alright. Can't have it die, unfortunately. So I've only made two of these in that whole fight. Fucking joke. What that shows me is we gotta get rid of this Legion. I can't, like, lose a priority, dr a priority draw. It doesn't do anything at all. Um... Endless. I don't even want endless. These are just bad. We just need to find the the, the molten encasements and the uh, spike driver ASAP, and none of these help me do that. They hurt me to do that. For that crap. <clears throat> I think we need draw, unfortunately. I would love to take pip, but we just cannot afford to bottom deck these things. This is the problem with spike drivers. Like, I've, I've recorded... Like a, a spike driver run that by all means should have won. Uh, it's on the channel somewhere, maybe a year ago. It still haunts me to this day where it was like we bottom decked ev all like six spike drivers in the deck on Divinity and then we lost. Bottom deck all six of them. That's why you want to avoid banner unit list runs unless your champ is the carry. Um, if you're actually needing to dig for your banner unit list units, even with like double draw on a 20 card deck, you can still lose. I think a holdover primitive mold uh, could be pretty good, but I think long term a purifying cleanse would be better. Just a spell chain. Hmm. Spell chain would have definitely moved me toward being able to do that, I think. And again, we just don't want intrinsic cards here. These are crap. So, I think. I think it's purifying cleanse. We don't want to be reforming. We want to be extending our burnout, and we're going to have a lot of things to extend, and a holdover there really facilitates that. So let's get rid of that and get rid of these. We just have to find these cards. I would even be willing to self infuse a steward here just to get it moving along, but I don't think putting Party Boy on that. Double strike potentially would be worth it. Now, flexing a superfood here. I don't know. It could help me burn out extend, um, but most likely it's just not working for me. We wanted aggressive, but we just didn't find it. I think all it does is makes it so sometimes he doesn't die the first turn, which is obviously not good. I'm telling you, Reform Diem is fucking horrible. I don't know why people like it so much. It hardly ever works out. Even with, like, an ideal setup. Like, I, I may as well just not use my champ. For the most part. It'll be okay eventually here, because I'll have a multi-floor setup and I can put it behind stuff, but... Yeah, it's not amazing. I don't think we do that. And even here he's not dying. Even here he's not dying. I can't play that. It's so unfortunate. I have not once been able to really justify playing this. Because I have to dig through my stupid deck. Uh, you know what? I can do this, I think. And again... Just don't think this is worth it. This already dies. I can just leak that. Fuck it. Are we gonna bottom deck both of these stupid things? Okay, can I have you just die immediately? I need to get this thing going. Um. Hmm. I wanna play this, but. It's tough. How on 40 shards am I still getting the worst possible shit? Uh, like, 
technically this is fine for me since vapor funnel, but what the fuck? The first fucking wave or second fucking wave here gets the quill and the third one gets a goddamn cliff guardian. It's literally as bad as the shards could be. I don't fucking get it. Alright, so you can die. You can try to get some damage in here. I guess for this we can do that. So we gotta get some softening up here. But you have burnout one. Let's put you in front. I'm gonna give you the burnout since you have the rage. He still hits me. What an absolute joke. Do that just to heal him. I fucked that up. Take as many of these as we can. I'm gonna do this just so if I find reform, I can reform another one of these. Hopefully, have him die. This should already kill the boss, so. Okay. Well, we're not gonna get above five, it looks like. I got exactly five there. Uh, cannibalize. Yeah, I got exactly five, unfortunately. So, no help there. Uh, Candlelays sometimes can be okay, but ironically, the fact that it creates morsels is a huge downside. This is just one of the worst cards in the game. So is, Ex so is Excavation Eruption. Void Binding is just not working for me in this deck. So that's a skip. Sacred Wicks. The only thing is I gotta make sure that this doesn't get burned on Diligent. Do I have enough spells to guarantee that? Unnecessarily. So like I could add... It may be Fatal Melting's okay. It won't... I'm not gonna have money and it's dying eventually, so it's not gonna get auto-powered up, but I could maybe just hit on like either of these temples or the Merchant of Magic. Certainly some AoE would be nice though. Especially into these bosses. Alright, 20 starting attack is okay. I think I'd rather go 10 here than Fatal Melting, all things considered. Would just help my turns a lot more. Get that down by 1. I think I'm, I'm just going to remove Engine Upgrade, it's horrible. Uh, I think I need this money. Yeah, let's get rid of uh, engine upgrade. Is it worse than a steward right now? It's probably not worse than a steward, let's be honest. So let's get rid of the stewards. They're just absolute dead weights. I could sometimes play a engine upgrade and it could actually give me five health, so that could be okay. I could double stack that. It's not the worst idea I've ever had. Considering I have five of these things, you know, I think it's okay. But we are just hella poor. Easy uh, money here, though. Okay. We can take all of these out. Not that I need to. Actually, since I don't need to just have that die and this will still die why don't we feed this guy two rubber morsels right you're burning out sweet Feed the guy there. Uh, this still dies. I 
did I not put this down first? Because I'm dumb. Okay, let's get rid of these. Right, you first. Uh, I don't think we need that in. Right, we finally got this. Let's go you first. so stupid. Why did I do it there? I am actually so dumb. It won't end up mattering, but it is, like, hilariously bad what I just did there. So incredibly dumb. Do one of the two ones. Like, remedy my stupid mistake. That was also pointless what I just did there. Brain is off today. It's off every day, let's be honest. So here, putting it back over there makes sense. And that'll do it. Alright, back to full health now. Or not back to, for the first time we're at full health. Uh, Ember Cash into Diligent, you know what? That'll take. Uh, I could take the engulfed in smoke. You're almost always okay to take it. But I do think finding this... I guess my hail vents are just going to go on this. I don't know. I already have all the space I need with that eventually. So, I got two hail vents ahead of me. I think one should go on the tomb, because it's important, and one should go on the periphery and because it's important. I just don't need those then. Health that I don't need. Minus two. Minus you. Ten there is fine, but it's also really good there. I think it's actually better there though. That can help. Like, there's several fights or uh, waves on this fight that that's gonna be good. I'm going to do this one first. There's not a whole lot of incoming wave damage on this one, so the the Scourge is not the priority. Or, uh, the, the, the Tomb is not the priority. Alright, you can go down there and die. You can go up here and live. Should have done this. Didn't matter. Maybe we got another one of you. Should do this. That actually, that was potentially dumb. Okay, we have this. We'll take care of that. He's burning out. Definitely sucks. But what are you gonna do? Both of these, so we definitely want to use those. Shut up. I want this to burn out. Um, I could. I have seven burnout on these. I could probably just cycle back to them. I could have this die so that it's in the pool. I think we can cycle back. All 
Alright, we're getting through it here. <clears throat> probably put the other molten encasement into this. That could certainly make sense. Alright, well, let's make sure this one stays. Ready at full health. Just because. Yeah, I mean, once we get going, we can't be stopped. It's just a matter of I have to get going. With full pyre health and the vapor funnel and the refracting lenses, though, I think I can do this. Technically, sacrificial res does work with uh, the lenses, but it, it, it's just so annoying. Literally every time this card makes sense to add, it's into diligent. Literally every time. Literally, literally. Literary. It's a literary fucking truth. Literature has written it down for centuries that you will find this card useful and then diligent. I don't think we're taking these. do need to get to 100 shards, so it is time to do stuff. Thirty powered peers. Not necessarily what I'm looking for. Okay, we definitely have to do this then. Okay, we're right, to 85. I can take 10 there. My elements are going on non-sharded cards. So, uh, I think we could just pierce that and then take the money. Okay, let's get rid of, of course, that, and of course, that. Can't get rid of too many spells, so. We always want that playable. Don't need a 10 on anything. Could remove the consume on space prism and just bring it back down. Uh, is that really all that necessary though? I already have enough space once I play it. It would only make, it, it's like pretty win more to do that I would say. We can just save some money for removals. I think I have enough spell fodder. Or just save some for trinkets, I don't know. Shit food. I am healing my guys, so I think Spikes is fine. Of course we have to go Scourge into Penitent into Diligent. I can definitely see how this seed has qualified as cursed. and hold over. Let's 
is a little iffy. Because the spikes are actually wrecking me. Alright, luckily we get that. Um, and I don't always have to play this. So let's think. We can go... Here. There. Got a lot of stealth. I think... Perhaps... Let's do this. If I do that, that saves me a lot of health. Um, and I can just find a consumable. To get that health back. Such as this. Definitely a win. Okay. <clears throat> Game has thrown everything at us. Good resin removal for diligent. Nope, nope. Probably yes. Poopy, 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 poopy. I just will tend that, I guess, in hindsight. over the zero cost one. Let's do that, I guess. Alright, I think because we added this, we can probably get rid of some planks. They're pretty stink. They're pretty stink. And we can search down one of these. Get rid of one more. Get rid of this. Okay. And the hell vent. I think we're good on uh, the other stuff, so let's just hell vent this. I know it costs me shards, but at this point, we'll definitely draw our stuff. And I just need to get the. make sure the stealth is there. something proper. Eh. Despite hell venting them, they're the bottom ten cards of the deck, both of them. Sweet. Let's get you fucked up. Okay, we're gonna go you in the front. You there. There. 
those banners going. I could let one of these go. Um, I don't really need both of them. Oh, I don't need to. Well, if I don't need to, then why? Diligent, the next time you come around, we're gonna have some stuff for you. Uh, hmm. Which one are we burning here? I like the zero. Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of the zero cost one, actually. We need to come to the uh, realization that we may have to burn, like, even another one. Okay, if we finally find this. Ugh, not a huge fan of that, but I guess it makes sense. Diligent, come back. That's it. Easier than the penitent. And I suppose that makes sense. I mean, penitent is just... Oh. Always damage shield, never not. Formed him. You suck. Look how slow it scales. Look how fucking slow it scales. Not these guys. They're formed him. Just to clarify. Shoot. 
should be getting a flying kill soon enough here. Uh, do we get it here if I do this? Doesn't particularly look like it changes much. Try. We're, we're very fucking close, actually. Oh well. 11 off. Headshot. Alright. Luckily, we did alright. Here's the thing, though. Um, all things considered, I was finding at least one or two uh, spike drivers in the first two turns or so in pretty much every fight. Other than, like, the first ones, but that's to be expected. And... Even though that went smooth, I still could have easily had that shit happen. Well, not easily. It shouldn't be easy, mathematically speaking. But for me, it's easy. To bottom deck like all of them. And, I mean, in the other one we're talking about, I had one extra, I had one extra spike driver even. Like, if I just don't draw any of them, I die. Like, I could have just not drawn any of them. That absolutely could have happened. And then I just wouldn't have scaled fast enough. I think I still would have been fine, though, given my buffer here. Given my buffer here, I probably would have been fine. So, yeah, this was a challenge, so what, let's see what they all did. Hmm, okay, this guy went a completely different route. Found a resin block. That must have been the first Divine Moon. Which, to be honest... Was that, like, he got huge payoff for that, but I, I don't know. In this combo, like, obviously for a reformed EM that, that didn't find aggressive, that would have been amazing. Like, that actually just makes this work, but had that just been a brick, or even just something mediocre, not something that was, like, literally the best thing you could ever find here, I think it wasn't worth the risk. Um... Took the tomb. And see, here's another thing, like, that tomb was offered alongside, like, Burnout Extension and I think a Molten Encasement, and I'm like, what scenarios does the tomb outperform the, uh, the Burnout Extension and only really Legion of Wax, right? Which was found, which they actually didn't take. Oddly enough, I would have thought with resin block and that, that would have been the way to go, actually, but probably still would have took this alongside it. Um, but yeah, I just think that the, the Entombed Explosive isn't better than the, the Burnout Extension in most cases. So they found self-infused alley with a shitload of multi-strikes. Um, so the Merchant of Steels were certainly good on this run, it seems. Took rail spikes. Took a formless child. I think that's unnecessary with a resin block, to be honest. Um, how are they feeding this thing? Cannibalize holdover, I guess. I guess another thing that's just kind of weird to me here is like, this is a pretty hard commitment that had to have been made before you ever find this, and you would have literally only had planks as your uh, morsel generation up until then. I think a lot of risks are taken here that they do end up getting paid out, but. I don't know. I think, I think this. there's so many ways this could have fell apart. But they got it done, so I... Okay, can't... I don't want to be... I don't want to be a hater. Uh, and here we have the Endless Legion of Bomb, which actually dies to fell. Um, 
I wouldn't have took that. I would not have gone superfood. That must have been another divine boon as well. Uh, it didn't take the trial here. It's just, yeah, that, that doesn't, doesn't make much sense to me. He took 25 damage here. I mean, I guess, yeah. Um, 24, same. So this this is, by the way, the encased ember versus the vapor funnel. Um, just a very big difference, I would say. Like, again... Five Ember. It's just not that good, in my opinion. Uh, you know, especially early on with that week of a starting deck. Um, I just, just no way. Like, like, so that put them in a position where they basically, uh, you know, couldn't take this trial. It's interesting because, like, so they took the first boons, then they had to also skip the second boons because of basically this. I, I to be honest, though, an advanced prototype, I wouldn't think that it would have to take 25 damage here. That's a little weird to me. But, I mean, it was first defense, so you're guaranteed to have an 18 damage guy. Which is why I didn't take the first boons. Granted, my pyre would have been fine, so maybe it was okay, but... Yeah. I mean, I, I probably could have took the first boons with this. It's just I saw the second boons, and I'm like, well, if I take the first, then I can't take the second, because I really can't justify going into ring two with a primordium, a, a stalwart primordium. I could potentially brick on my unit, and I cannot go to 30 shards, right? I mean, I could, it's just not advisable. Hold over Mortal Trade is a little weird to me. Especially if your big thing here is Legion of Wax. So, I mean, this has this, uh, which is... Hmm. I don't know that I would have put Endless on it. I guess if you're running this, maybe. I would rather just reform this thing. You reform it, it will gain stats. Uh, also, you could have, instead of getting the burnout upgrade, or instead of getting the uh, endless upgrade, you could have got the uh, multi strike eventually. There's apparently 70 of them on the map. So yeah, I don't, I don't really like the, uh, I don't like the endless there. It's not untakeable. It's just, yeah. Then this doesn't make much sense to me. These don't make much sense to me. Like, you should just be having the Legion of Wax blast everything. And then get, like, another one of them. And probably, like, there was that... Like, by the time you have that going, I would have spell-chained this, maybe even intrinsic it. And that... I would put one Helvent to the, the Wax, and probably two to the Space Prism. And then just, uh... You know, you can have four extra space spread across. Maybe even take... You also took a Pip upgrade, so, like... Yeah, Legion of Wax wins the game, uh, Legion of Bombs, as long as you can get two of them coming back often. But this just tries to do things that aren't Legion of Wax when you already have it, like hold over Mortal Trade, spending shards on this, which just doesn't help this at all, it hurts it, and like, even this doesn't make sense. If you, Early on you would have already had this, there's no sense to go Burnout Extension. Um, like, quite literally, just removal and Legion of Bombs takes care of the game. Now this I really don't like. Uh, Morsel Maker, Legion of Wax. It was probably the worst Morsel Maker infusion in the game, considering that you're wanting this thing to die. And... Yeah, it's like not actually getting to resolve 
only the uh, summoned things will resolve, which does not persist through uh, reform. So, like, yeah, it's not very good. Again, with the superfood, I'm just like, yeah, I wouldn't do that if, unless I'm starting with Ember Drain this combo. Um, spell chain that, that makes no sense with this. Yeah, this one just is set up for failure. There's no way this one, this one just is shooting itself in the foot. Right, this person did get the only other one here to take the spike driver colony. Um, I mean, right off the bat, they took this trial. That's where a paraffin enforcer was found, right? Am I misremembering that? I'm pretty sure it was found here. Uh, and with this deck, there's just no way you should not take that. Um, well, okay, I guess there is, because apparently they didn't take... Apparently they didn't take... I'm confused here. Did they just, like, take a bunch of Molten Encasements at those... So you already start with two Molten Encasements, you find the Endless right from the get-go. Don't you? Or do you find it... You find it in Ring 3, but anyway... Either way, you're already starting with the two and cases, so instead of taking Burnout Extension or the Bomb, they take another Molten Encasement, and then again they get Burnout Extension, and then they take the yet another Molten Encasement, it just doesn't make any sense. Should have definitely taken Perif it should have definitely taken Burnout Extension. Uh, and if not that, at least the Explosion Tomb. Like, I can still see Explosive Tomb, even though I disagree with the pick. It's not, like, in a horrible pick. I just strongly would prefer the Burnout Extension. But I can see arguments for the Entombed Explosive. I cannot see an argument for taking another Molten Encasement, especially twice. Like, you gave up. You took something, basically, you already had, and gimped yourself. Um, at least they took the Vapor Funnel. They're the f they did too, so props on that, but otherwise, it, yeah, and then like this on Holdover, no need, no need. Yeah. It could have this just be a Paraffin Enforcer. Or even just put a Paraffin Enforcer into this, that wouldn't have been horrible either. Um, but yeah, this is the Crucible Warden, it's like, eh, like what, what, what's this even accomplishing? It doesn't scale. There is no scaling offensively in this deck, that's one thing I'd like to point out, unless you count making of a morsel, which doesn't really work here. Sometimes it can. So yeah, I think it's just a lot of cases of uh, not really focusing on the thing that you've committed to. To me, there's two powerful things in this run. There is the Legion of Bomb potential. Um, and then there's the Paraffin Enforcer potential. Now, I would have preferred to have just gone in with enough money to hit the multi-strike on that Paraffin Enforcer and not go on the, the Spike Driver route, but we were forced into a given circumstance. So you can either do it the way I did it or just simply do the classic multi-striking self-infused Paraffin Enforcer, which would have been better than this, by the way. Way better. And those are really the two. And there is technically this as well. Um, I guess if you get that resin block, you can do Reform DM and... Feed really whatever. If it's this many multi strikes, yeah, the Allied kind strikes strikes great, but you could you could put a potato in front of it with the resin block reform DM and two multi strike upgrades. You could put a potato and it'll work. So those are the kind of the three the three uh, power powerful things you could do. I guess there's also holdover void mining. I just I guess eventually you have a way out with the Hell's Banners, kind of. Um, but in a diligent, I don't know about that. It's it's an option though. If you missed on all of the above, that is an option technically. 
But yeah, it, I don't know. People just the people that lost just didn't focus on the actual things that were powerful in their deck and build around them. They basically hurt. They they spent money to hurt themselves. All right, I am sounding way more harsh than I intended to. So I will just cut myself off there. Anyway, though, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.